Survivors. Did Channel 5's Dinosaur with Stephen Fry documentary really steal one of Ark's creature assets? What a titanic mistake. This latest news of a production company taking Ark assets for the big screen, which is not the first time it's happened, was first brought to the community's attention by none other than Jeremy Stieglitz himself. Tweeting out the message, wonder if acclaimed paleontologist Dr. Helena Walker was consulted for this documentary, showing Jeremy putting a humorous spin on it, but what action, if any, will Studio Wildcard be taking? Dinosaur with Stephen Fry is a four-part series airing on Channel 5 in the UK on the 12th of February, something I'm definitely going to be interested in checking out myself. I mean, who doesn't love a dinosaur documentary? But if you watch this one, you might spot a few familiar creatures. First up is Ark Survival Evolves Titanosaur, seen in one of the trailers for the series. Any avid Ark player would instantly recognize this model as belonging to Ark. A simple search of Google for Titanosaur images shows a wide variety of different models for the dinosaur none of which looks anything similar to Ark Survivor Evolves Titan. What instantly gives this one away is the rocky lumps all the way across its back from its head down to its tail, even down the size of its long neck and the way the Titan is positioned. Some of the closest images I found that has lumps across the Titan's back were these, which has no resemblance to Ark's Titan at all, and so there is no doubt this is an Ark asset. Having looked at the rest of the creatures in the Dinosaur with Stephen Fry trailer, there are no signs of other Ark assets used, although I'm sure there will be other creatures that are not included in the trailer in the four part series, but only time will tell whether there are more Ark assets. However, it is possible that Ark isn't the only victim here. There have been claims that the Rex model seen in the trailer could potentially belong to the Beasts of Bermuda. A number of people have pointed out that the model looks very similar, even down to the skin used. I'm personally not familiar with this game myself, but it came out on Steam back in December 2018. So this begs the question, of where all of the creature models in the series have come from and whether all of the assets in the show have been misappropriated. This is certainly not the first time that an ARC asset has been used for the big screen though. In 2022's adventure movie Guardians of Time, we saw the extremely unique Forest Titan make an appearance, causing a huge ruckus within the ARC community. Considering the Forest Titan is a mythological creature, there was also no doubt that this was also Ark's asset misappropriated. I don't think we ever found out whether Studio Wildcard took action against this. The film did end up releasing last year, but was hardly ever heard of again, with most film and TV review sites showing very little response to the movie. So is this another piece of the legal action pie that Studio Wildcard will find themselves in? Well, we'll probably never know. But regardless of the misappropriation of assets, it's a dinosaur documentary. Who's going to watch it? Let me know. Survivors, if you don't want to miss out on all the latest art news, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>